that thing ride in, man. Call to the booth. Week seven. You know? Feel that. Feel that. Yeah. I ain't forgot about them, them rhymes. <laughs> I ain't forgot about them rhymes neither, Harrison. Sounds like you need an ad lib person to come in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check this out, Harrison. We matching, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little we late. Still repping Lake Show, you know what I'm saying? Lake of Purple, we still putting on, baby. There you go. Hey, hey, so so y'all check this out. <laughs> I get it, I get a I get a random FaceTime, you know what I'm saying, this weekend. It's Harrison number, but it's JR Smith on the other end. <laughs> My dog, JR. <laughs> Where y'all was at, Harrison? What y'all did, baby? Y'all well, was celebrating without me, baby? What's that? <laughs> well, you know, uh, first I wasn't going to say anything, but now that it's public knowledge, the Lakers, <laughs> <laughs> the Lakers were in Las Vegas. I happened yeah. to be in Las Vegas as well. Uh, it was an enjoyable time. I mean, you got to celebrate. I know it's a pandemic going on, but there's yeah. ways to be safe about celebrating. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, you know, but you know the rule of key. Whatever happens in Vegas. Stays in Vegas. Gotta stay in Vegas. But I'll let you ask me one I'll let you ask me one question though. Was it a good time? Oh, that's easy. Yeah, of course it was a good time. It was a great time. I don't want to know too much. I just want to know if it was a good time. Yeah. Yeah. When you were playing, what was your favorite city to go out in? Uh at the beginning of my career it was Miami. But later in my career it turned to LA. Yeah. I didn't like LA. I didn't like LA early in my career, but as as time went on, <laughs> LA, <laughs> yeah. LA, LA became the place, man. Yeah. LA became the place. Maybe my money went up. You know what I'm saying? LA a little expensive, so that plays a factor. <laughs> yeah, so maybe maybe that's what it was, man. But I don't that's, know. But definitely, definitely Miami early, LA late. Some of these homes in LA are are beautiful, yeah, bro. And is, the scenery man. is crazy. Yeah, I love I love LA, man. I, I I actually fell in love with LA once I went to the Rams. I. I definitely fell in love with the city. It's going to be very interesting how players handle going to yeah. Vegas versus, I mean, there's a lot of fun cities on the map during if in a regular world, but Vegas is a whole nother world. Yeah, you're going to have to be a pro when you go there, but I mean, you'll be surprised, Harrison. You you have to be a pro when you go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You you got enough money. The NFL players got enough money. They can get in trouble anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So they, they pros, man. You, you just have to. Be a little extra careful in Vegas. <laughs> mm-hmm, indeed, that the stadium is beautiful. But let's let's actually get to some real football real quick. Let's get to the power rankings before we uh, speak with Coach Wade Phillips. Number one stays the same. Seattle at number one. Kansas City moves up to number two. Tennessee moves up from four to three. Last week we had to wait for that Tuesday night game. No Tuesday night games this time around. They're at three. Pittsburgh up to number four. Baltimore at number five. Interesting uh, from this in top five equation. Green Bay all the way up out of there, and Tampa Bay, despite beating them, doesn't get into the top five. Explain your decision, please. That's probably my number six and my seventeen right there. I I go I probably go Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay at six. You know I got the Bears in there six, seven, eight. They still top ten, man. They right outside the top five. Uh, uh, the Bucks and uh, who else we said? Bucks and uh, Green Bay and the Packers and the yep. Packers. The Bucks and the Packers. They right outside the top five. They're not far. But uh, Seattle looking like the best team in the league to me right now. And they had a bye week, man. You can't get penalized for a bye week. Stay at number one. The Chiefs had a big win uh, against Buffalo, man. That's a uh, that's a, a worthy opponent, man. You beat one of them worthy opponents, it hold a little bit more weight than beating like Houston or somebody, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So you beat one of those guys. That's how they jumped up. Tennessee, Baltimore still. I mean, uh, Tennessee, Pittsburgh still undefeated. So those guys move up a slot, and then uh, Baltimore. I think they're gonna really get the rolling. Baltimore gonna get the rolling, man. They got those. They got that Chiefs game out the way, and uh, besides that Chiefs game, man, they they've been looking like the best team in the league. So Baltimore at number five, and then you know we got the Bucks, the Packers, the Bears. You see, we got those guys right outside the top five. That's six, seven, eight around that area. Uh, we'll talk about more matchups in our fantasy show, which will come uh, Thursday, Friday. But before we do that, real quick before we get to coach, Tennessee versus Pittsburgh, battle of two uh, really good teams. Who do you like mm-hmm. in that? Tough man, tough. I, I like I like Pittsburgh. I always I always like Pittsburgh, and uh, neither one of them neither one of them really had a, a tough schedule thus far. But Tennessee, man, I feel like the camaraderie, the it, it looked like a Bill Belichick led team to me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's 
it's well, Coach Rabel is right. Man, well, it's that Rabel. It's, it's that it looked like a Bill Belichick, like a Patriots type of team, man. Just a attention to detail, man. How many how many guys you see? You don't really know their name, but they in there making plays. You know what I'm saying? Just just Coach Rabel just standing on guys, knowing their job and being ready to play. Ah, where the game at? Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and give that a double check here. Tennessee. There you, you go. Said Tennessee. I'm uh, uh, games like this when it's hard like this. I ride with the home team, man. I'm going Tennessee. Okay. Uh, AJ Brown really upticking as a wide receiver now. And yeah. with that being said, him and DK Metcalf were the same Ole Miss team. How they not yeah. win the national championship? What's going on? They had on to be over hurt. There? I think DK was hurt. I know DK had the neck issues, man. It had to be some type of injuries. Them guys could not have been on the same field at the same time, and and, and it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So. Had to be some type of injuries. They probably never played at the same time, or who knows, man. But it, it's something to it. It's something to that story. 